So this video, I'm going to launch one of the biggest shit for the companies like TCS, Infosys and Capgemini and Vipro. And most interestingly, it is not just a coding sheet, it will also contain some core subjects like database, operating systems, OOPS, C, Java and every other subjects. And most interesting point is, we don't need to go anywhere because every single material is provided in the sheet. You just need to follow this sheet as it is, as I designed for you. So I will going to explain every single thing about this sheet, how you should follow it, how, where should you practice the portions and what kind of portion you should practice. I can guarantee for sure, if you follow this sheet, you will complete nearly 90 to 95% of your preparation for the companies like TCS, Infosys and Capgemini. Most interesting point is, if any company arrives in your campus, I can bet sure if you follow the sheet, you can crack those companies easily. Just make sure you follow the sheet right from the first till the end without any misconceptions. So let's get started. But the point is, before you start, I would like to tell you, just in case if you are new to Runtime Error, I highly recommend you to subscribe the channel so that you can get some quality stuff regarding interviews and placements and all other campus related material. So let's jump to the sheet and let's show you what kind of sheet I have designed for you. So this is the sheet I have designed for you. I have made a different section. First one is arrays, strings, random questions and must do algorithm. So this is basically for the data structures. Because we know that the companies like TCS, Infosys, Capgemini, Wipro, they give you two coding questions for every single round. So we need to practice the coding round too. But only a thing is, the first question of those companies is a lot more easier and we are given a 15 minutes time to solve that question. And the second question is of 30 minutes. So we can simply say that it is a bit moderate in between ease and the medium. It will not be medium or it will not be hard, but it will be in between ease and the medium. So I have picked this question which is frequently asked in those companies. So you don't need to go anywhere. Say for example, I need to solve this question. You can simply click on this question and you can jump to that particular question. And most interesting point that is, you can solve directly over here. So you don't need to go anywhere, simply click on the question. If in case if it is not clickable, press, press control. I have shown here, that is press, press the control and click on the line. So these are all array questions that are frequently asked on in the companies like TCS, Infosys, Tab, Gemini, Wipro, etc. Moving on to the next question that is string question. That is most of the times Wipro focuses on the string question. Because when I gave the Wipro campus in back in 2022, I still remember that there were both the questions on the string. So I feel that string is really important for those companies. So I picked some frequently asked questions on the strings and most interesting point that is, these are well crafted and well drafted string questions. So make sure that you follow all this question on the string really well without missing every single element. And even if you are able to solve this question, say for example, uh, if you are able to solve this question, make sure you go to the article of this question. Now, if you saw this question, make sure you search for the name with these strings. Say for example, I'm searching this. So simply go to this. And most interesting point that is, even if you're able to solve this question, go and read the articles. Because what happens with this is, you get a strong hold on the concept. Just it's good you are able to solve this question. But the point is, if you read these approaches, you will find out many new different approaches to solve this question. So this is the string questions that I have designed for you. Later on, we will have, we are having a random question. So these questions might be on number systems, especially for mathematics, because TCS company does provide a lot more questions on mathematics because I remember when I selected for the TCS digital and I was having the coding down advanced coding down for TCS digital, both the questions on mathematical questions. Of course, it was a bit advanced than those, this, what I selected, but these are the base for those, you know, mathematical questions. So I guess if you practice these questions, you will get strong hold on those mathematical concepts. We don't need to think a lot about mathematical questions. Because with the help of these basics, you can easily tackle any questions. Because company like TCS, Vipro, Capgemini, they will not give you any hard questions like Google, Microsoft and Amazon. They will be in between ease and the moderate. So I don't think so that apart from these mathematical questions, you need to learn some any other mathematical concept. So I have designed everything, GCD, LCM, AP series, ASCII values, permutation, combination. So if you cover all these mathematical questions, you don't need to learn any other extra mathematical material as well. So moving on to the next section, this is called the algorithm section. And what I feel is this is really important in both the tubs, in coding part as well as in interview part as well. 
बिकॉज दीज आर दर्ड सॉर्टिंग अलगोरदम्स और स्टैंडिंग स्टैंडर्ड अलगोरदम दैट वी नीड टू फॉलो सो मोर शॉर्ट दिस इज द आर्टिकल यू कैन सिंपली क्लिक ऑन इट एंड रीड द आर्टिकल रिगार्डिंग द मोर शॉर्ट नाउ इस इन केस इफ यूर रेनी बोर्डिंग मोर शॉर्ट यू कैन सिंपली गो ऑन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन फॉर द मोर शॉर्ट बिकॉज देर माइट बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी जैट इन इंटरव्यू दे माइट आस्क यू टू इम्प्लीमेंट द मोर शॉर्ट सो दिस इज यू कैन सिंपली इम्प्लीमेंट योर मोर शॉर्ट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द क्वेश्चन लिंक टू यू एज वेल so i have mentioned everything bubble sort insertion sort selection sort quick sort i have mentioned all the important and the standard sorting algorithm for you so this is all about the coding section i would say make sure you follow every single question clearly and thoroughly with both of you should read articles as well and also you need to solve the questions so that you can get a strong hold on those questions once you finish with this coding portions let us move on to the most important core subjects and most interesting point is we should not miss this subject Not only for this TCS Wipro Infosys companies, but it is asked in every single companies apart from TCS Infosys or any other companies, right? So first of all, we will be starting with database. So according to my experience, since I'm working in TCS in a digital for five for nearly two years, I know what kind of portion these companies ask you in an interview. So according to my experience, I have brought those articles for you, and you don't need to learn apart from anything this. Right. Say for example, if you want to learn asset properties, again, yeah, simply click on it. We will get every single thing related to the asset properties, and I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, hundred and twenty percent that if you follow these things related to the core subject, you will not get stuck in any of the core subject question. I can guarantee it's my guarantee, because I still remember when I gave interview for Tesis Digital back in twenty twenty two, my whole forty seven minutes of interview will went on on database. And even I have made one video about my thesis digital interview experience. If you are not aware about that, you can check the link in the description box. So this is all about the database section. What I mentioned normalization. There are you know three or four types of normalization: one NF, two NF, three NF, and BCNN. You should know all this normalization because whenever it comes to database, normalization plays an important role. Then comes a join. In terms of SQL, joins plays an important role because they are. Many other types of joints. That is left joint, right joint, full joint. So we need to carry on those things, those joints. And most interesting point is do practice a queries on the joints on SQL, because there might be a possibility that interview ask you to write the query on that particular question. Then move on to the keys, and keys are important point. Point you know that there is a candidate key, primary key, foreign key. They might ask you the difference between what is candidate key and the primary key, difference between primary key and the foreign key. So these are the really important small concept, but these plays a big role in the interviews. Then we move on to the difference between primary key and the unique key. So this is the standard question. What I have observed is in many interviews, difference between primary key and the candidate key is most asked question. Whenever it is came to the database, they ask hundred and twenty percent what is the difference between primary key and the unique key. Even I was asked in back in twenty twenty two. So. This is the most do questions for database, and again, the one of the more final question that is difference between RDMA VS and DBM. So this is all about database. I don't think so that apart from this, you don't need to do anything related to the database. Make sure you read the article, every single article clearly, and if possible, try to take down the notes so that it becomes easier and lot more easier for you to have a quick revision during the time of interview. Then we will shift to the next subject that is operating system. Operating system is one of the most favorite subject of mine, and I have brought all the important concept that related to the operating system. So first, always start with what is process. So again, if you click on this, you will get every single material regarding the process. That is, what is process? What is the definition of process? Most interesting point that is how the memory management of the process looks like. You can see over here that is process diagram, stack, heap, text, data. Every single it is given in this article. And process control block. How does the process store its value? What are its states of the processes? So every single thing is given in detail in this article. There are a number of website I know, but what I found which is really good for you, I have brought those website for you. And most interesting point it is what are the process? We know that there are different process state. That is new. Here you can see that new, ready, suspended, ready, running, suspended block. So this is really important articles. What I feel like. So I brought this one. And most interesting point: What is the difference between process and the program? Hundred percent, it is asked when it comes to the process and the programs. Similarly, it is process and the threads. If you are studying process, you have to study about the threads because threads is an important part along with the process. They might ask you if we have the process, then why do we need the thread? So this is I mentioned about difference between process and the program, process and the thread.
So the next, here we come across the date block. Make sure that whenever you're meeting with a date block, always try to give the real life example. For example, suppose you have the pen and I have the paper. And I want the pen to write and you need a paper to write. But I'm not ready to view my paper to you and you are not ready to give your pen to me. So this is pointless with block because both will not complete our process. So always try to be the real life example whenever you're giving any interview questions. So if you click on the deadlock, you will find uh, these articles of the next four weeks. You will get uh, what is deadlock, why the deadlock occurs, what is the reason behind the deadlocks. So all these things it is mentioned in the uh, those articles. Then we have been moving with prevention and avoidance of deadlock because this is really important. If you're having the deadlock and the process is not been completed, there should be a kind of a way we should avoid this because anyhow we need to complete our process. So there are the two ways we can avoid deadlock that is deadlock avoidance and deadlock prevention. So I have mentioned an article for this. And one of the most important article in terms of operating system is types of scheduling manifold. It is really important when it's come to the operating system. So I have mentioned every single type of algorithm that is here you can see that CPU algorithm, FCFA, shortage job first, non-gate job first, priority scheduling, round robin. Again, if we click on these articles, we'll get all the articles related to the round topic. So, this is, you need to study all about uh, what is scheduling algorithm because this is a must do, I would say a must do article that is scheduling algorithm from operating system. And then comes the types of operating system, which is really important. You can have those small little, you know, types of uh, operating systems like the time sharing operating system, real time operating system, paths operating systems. Uh, there are many other operating systems you can learn those small small types of operating systems so that whenever if it is by chance asked in the question you can tell them the types of operating system you will know so this was all related to the operating system then comes a whoops that is real life uh, objects in the world in terms of programming so here i mentioned all the concept regarding the whoops concept so that you can easily come out of the class object encapsulation everything everything i have mentioned over here you can simply go through this if and one of the most important point what I feel about OOPS concept is a real life example. This is really important. Again, this is a really important question that is real life example of OOPS concept. This is really important. And I have given all the important real life example OOPS concept. You can simply click on this link and you will find all the concept regarding the OOPS concept as well as most interesting point that is a real life example of OOPS concept. So don't miss to visit this place because this is really important to have a real life example if you're dealing with OOPS concept. Then one of the most interesting part that is all the interview related to the person in C language, C++, Java. If you simply click on this, you will find the recent coding interviews. You know, what is C, what is, why C is called as a mother language. So you will find all the questions, interview questions related to the C, C C++, Java. You can simply click on this link, you will find all the recent top 30, top 50 interview questions related to that particular language. So I hope so this sheet will make a sense for you and I can guarantee if you follow this sheet right from the start till then 90 to 95% your preparation is done with remaining percentage is only left with HR person and I have already made a playlist on the HR page, HR questions how to answer what is the meaning of questions and how to deliver those for the HR person so I put this link of the sheet in the description box don't forget to follow this sheet I can guarantee for you according to my two years of experiences in corporate sector, this is enough to prepare for the companies that teaches in process and be with. So I'm signing off for this video. I hope so. We will follow this shape right from the start till then. Just in case if your friend is not aware about this, do share this video with them so that they can come across the placement journey as well. Till then, I'm signing off.